If we now turn to the program itself, this is a diagram showing you uh, the three years of the program. You can see that the year one is here on the top, year two in the middle, and year three in the bottom. Uh, the six courses listed at the top comprise the entire first year, and these relate to things like the Treaty of Europe, uh, what determines health, we talk about diseases and what are the most prevalent diseases in Europe. We look at climate change and healthy environments. We talk about health technological innovation and things like pharmaceuticals and medical devices. And the reason we talk about those specifically is because the European Union has a specific competence in oversight regarding the production of drugs or pharmaceuticals and also in terms of the production of medical devices. And finally, you'll end that year with some training in statistics, which we will pull through the curriculum and you'll continue to be more deeply trained in statistics, in epidemiology, and some other core skill sets within public health. Now, the second year, you will come back and look at uh, migration, demography, and health. Europe has an aging population, much like China. That's little known, but China, in fact, also has a very strongly aging population. This is an issue that's confronting countries across the world. Then we'll move on to a whole course on lifestyle and health, looking at things like diet, smoking, and exercise, and finally, training in methodology in the second year paper. I'd like to highlight that in semester four, you have the opportunity to uh, customize your study and focus for a full semester, which is 20 weeks, on a program either here in Maastricht, somewhere else in the Netherlands, or more than 70% of our graduates go abroad for this period to study at another university. It's a way that you can customize your study and really give it a unique focus, both in terms of the content as well as the location where you do that. So we have graduates, uh, excuse me, minor students going to all different countries of Europe and some even beyond Europe. In year three, we focus really on the specifics of the European public health care systems. So we start with an in-depth analysis of insurance and medical care systems. Uh, as well as the larger embedding of that within the public health policies. Then we focus on broader policies that are not directly related to medical care, things like blood policy or rare diseases. And you'll learn about some very specific, important areas of policy development at the EU level. And finally, we move into the sixth semester where you will write a thesis. Many of our graduates, approximately two thirds, will do a placement with an organization that we arrange for them. And many of them go abroad again during this semester. So during the Bachelor of European Public Health, you actually have two major opportunities to study abroad.